Jesus. What you have been seeking has been with you always. January 1, 2014, by John Smallman. The new year is a time for cleansing, for releasing old thought patterns that no longer serve you, for forgiving yourselves and others, and for renewing your inherent but possibly forgotten intent to share and extend the love that God offers you in every moment of your eternal existence. It is a time to remind yourselves that you are always firmly held in the loving embrace that enfolds all of creation, that you can never be separated from it, and that any feeling or sense that you are alone, abandoned, or judged unworthy by God is illusory, a terrifying fantasy whose time is past. You will awaken and your joy will be boundless. To awaken is and has been your destiny ever since you chose to temporarily forget who you are. God, Wisdom Reality Love knew that your desire to experience existence without him was unsustainable and that you would change your mind and allow the illusion to crumble and dissolve, and that is what it is now in the process of doing because you have collectively chosen to awaken. There have indeed been moments when it has appeared that you are backsliding, that you do not wish to awaken, but those moments are also illusory, there is only reality. Consequently your awakening is inevitable, unavoidable, and divinely assured. During these last moments of your illusory experience just continue going within to that quiet, deep, inner space where you can know yourselves, know that you are the children of God, and renew your intent for humanity to return to reality by releasing its fascination with, its desire for, and its belief in the illusion, thus removing its only support. The power you have available to you to maintain it is enormous because you are divine beings of infinite power but as soon as you remove that supportive intent from it by focusing instead on the source, reality, God, the illusion will dissolve. It is only a matter of time before this occurs, and then time being also illusory, will also be gone and you will realize that it was nothing but a dream, a dream that is fading very rapidly from your memory, from your awareness. You were created in love, the source field in which all of creation has its eternal existence, and beyond it there is nothing because there is no beyond, there is only love, God, Source, Reality, the Supreme Intelligence, you have many names in your different cultures, nations, and religions for the one that encompasses and contains all. Therefore you are all inseparable and essential parts or aspects of the one, without even one of you it would be incomplete and that is impossible. Therefore your eternal existence is divinely and eternally maintained by that divine and unchanging intent. Relax therefore in the certain and indisputable knowledge that you are, each one of you without exception, indispensable aspects of the one to whom you are eternally and unbreakable connected. The time for experiencing the unreal and the impossible, separation from your source, is drawing to a close, so celebrate the arrival of this new and about to be most uplifting and inspiring year with enthusiasm and joy because you are to return to awareness, consciousness of who you truly are and the wonder of that will amaze and delight you. God's will for you is that you reside in a state of complete and utter happiness upon which nothing can impinge, and, of course, your will is in complete alignment and harmony with His, so that supreme state will indeed be your eternal home, the home from which, in truth, you have never departed. And on your return you will recognize it as the state of bliss and completion that you have been seeking throughout all your earthly incarnations. You have a saying, Home is where the heart is. You have never left home because your heart is one with God's in every moment, and your apparent return there is but an awakening, a rubbing of your sleepy eyes, and a return to your natural and fully conscious state. What you have been seeking has been with you always, but hidden from your view, from your experience, from your knowing by your choice to enter the illusion and play there as though separated from yourselves and from your source. Your collective intent built the illusion and now your collective intent is dissolving it. You cannot live without love. It is the life force, the limitless field of infinite divine energy in which all that is has its eternal and utterly fulfilling existence. You are alive and therefore held closely in the warm embrace of the field of love which supports you totally and provides abundantly for all your needs without you having to, as it were, lift a finger. All is divinely taken care of so that you can explore and develop your limitless and fully absorbing creative abilities while basking in the love and admiration in which your father envelopes you. Words here are without meaning, they are totally inadequate to even attempt to describe the joy and the wonder to which you are shortly to be exposed. 
Go within daily and ask for guidance, a felt sense of your father's and our love for you. Open your hearts fully, without doubt, fear, or anxiety, so that, even as you remain temporarily embodied, you allow yourselves to experience a little of what lies in store for you, and you will be overwhelmed by the sensation that embraces you. Your loving brother, Jesus. Saul. January 1, 2014, by John Smallman. The new year of 2014 has arrived bringing with it an abundance of blessings for all of humanity as you approach ever more closely to the moment of your awakening into reality. Let go of your doubts about this and any you may have about God, even about whether He truly exists or not, for they only disconcert you. Deep within you know that you are forever held in His loving embrace and are shortly to awaken. Focus on the truth of that, the reality of that, and allow His love to flow through you to all of humanity uplifting and inspiring you as it does so. We are all one. There is no separation. God is all that there is. He is His creation and therefore we are all, every one of us without exception, eternally part of or aspects of God. You, humanity, lost sight of this eternal truth as you engaged with the illusion and chose to experience an imaginary and unreal separation from your ever-loving source. Well, the time has come for you to cease having that unreal and extremely discouraging experience. You were created to live as one with Source, God, our Heavenly Father love in action, and until you return to that state you can never be truly happy. Within the illusion you always feel driven to seek out something better, something more, and each time you find something it very quickly loses its appeal, its charm. What you are truly seeking, but scarcely recognize is a return to reality, only you cannot remember it, and therefore you settle for extremely unsatisfactory substitutes that can only add to your unhappiness as they constantly disappoint you failing utterly to fill the enormous gap in your hearts that only God's love can satisfy. It is always there for you, waiting for you to open to it, but distrust and disbelief have become endemic for you because you have been hurt so often and have suffered so much. To be separated from Source is to suffer, because your natural state is to be one with it, and even though the separation is unreal, if it were real you would instantly cease to exist, the pain it causes you is intense. You long to belong to be one with, and you seek out lovers and friends but to no avail because the only true satisfaction is to be one with your source. When you open yourselves to that love once more, fully open yourselves to it, all suffering ceases, and that is your awakening. To move forwards towards that state cease all judgment and intend to see only the light, the Christ consciousness in others. When you do that you become a loving presence and the energy field surrounding you glows, and it warms all those with whom you connect in any manner at all. They then resonate with that warmth and their own energy fields light up with joy. There are very few among you who have not had at least a slight experience of the warmth of another's love, and therefore you know how uplifting and inspiring it can be. As you have been told time and time again love is the answer, always. It is no good waiting for others to behave lovingly first, it just does not work like that because that is withholding love until you receive it, and so your energy field remains cool and uninviting to others. When you offer a heartfelt loving presence others feel it, relax into it, and then respond in like manner. The trick is to always be loving even when you feel coldness, rejection, or attack. If you automatically erect your own defenses in a situation like that no progress is possible as is demonstrated very clearly as unsuccessful attempts are made all over the world to replace conflict with peace while maintaining impregnable defenses. Loving openness works, but very few have the courage to try it. Those that have are highly praised and honored, but are almost always thought to be exceptional people operating in exceptional circumstances that have little or no bearing elsewhere. This is most definitely not the case, so learn from those who show that love works, follow their examples, and take courage from the results that you achieve, initially probably quite small, but startling enough to encourage you to continue. Love starts with you. It is as simple as that. But nearly all of your cultures have taught you to be cautious, to withhold love until it can be safely offered to one who will honor it and return it. That just builds an impasse an uncrossable barrier demonstrating hostility and distrust. Love offers itself without barriers or defenses of any kind, 
and continues to do so even when it encounters blocking barriers and defenses thus dissolving them, or at least bypassing them and allowing trust to grow. In this new year of 2014 make it your resolution and intent to offer only love, regardless of any barriers or defenses you may encounter, and help to awaken humanity, as has always been your intent from the moment that you incarnated as humans. You have limitless support and encouragement from all in the spiritual realms that will assure your success. With so very much love, Saul.